Hi, welcome to LMS Solution. Last video we discussed about the working of uh, incremental conductance MVPD algorithm for solar PV system. In this video we have to see about how to implement that in incremental conductance MVPD algorithm for solar PV system. So thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about the featured video. Let's start with the MATLAB implementation of incremental conductance MBPT algorithm. So, this is the sibling model for that uh, incremental conductance MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. So, this system consists of a uh, solar PV panel. Here we are uh, we are using 250 watts PV panel. In this 250 watts PV panel, you have to implement that incremental conductance MVPD algorithm. So and then we have boost converter and then variable loads and then incremental conductance MVPD algorithm and this block used to for generating the periodic impulse for that uh, IGP. So first I am going to show you the specification of the PV panel. So you can see that uh, here we are using uh, one parallel string and one series string of the term PV array. And then, so this is the rating of the solar PV array. So maximum power is 250 watts and then maximum voltage is 30.7 volt. That mean uh, voltage at maximum power point and current at maximum power point is around 8.51 8.515 amps so next time i'm going to show you the pv and iv characteristics of the consider <coughs> pv panel so this is iv characteristics so this is pv characteristics so you can see that uh, the maximum power for different irradiation condition so this cat is is uh, fine uh, drawn at the condition of uh, 25 degree uh, celsius with the varying irradiation condition if the irradiation going to be decreases from uh, 1 kilowatt per meter to 400 kilowatt per meter square so 400 watts per meter square the power level of the, the maximum point will be uh, decreases with the with the decreasing irradiation level so this is a specification of that to consider pv array and also it receive two inputs so one is irradiation another one is uh, temperature so in this uh, video that means this experiment i am going to uh, fix the temperature uh, around 25 degrees celsius that means at a room temperature. So I'm going to vary the irradiation and then we have to discuss about the performance of that incremental conductance MBPT. So next I'm going to show you the coding for that incremental conductance MBPT algorithm. So for that just you have to click this model. So it uh, navigate to another window. So this is a coding for that uh, incremental conductance MBPT algorithm. So in this coding first you have to initialize the different parameters so one is, is initial duty cycle so here i am going to fix initial duty cycle is 0 0.42 and maximum duty cycle is 0 0.85 and minimum duty cycle is 0 0.1 and change in duty cycle is 0 0.00005 and then so we are going to measure two inputs from that term PV panel one is voltage and the current of the PV panel. So for that I'm going to use uh, uh, global variable for that uh, different parameter. Nothing but a V volt, V volt, D volt, M and I volt. So these are the previous instant uh, voltage, power, duty cycle and the current. Next I'm going to check the condition. That means uh, previous instant voltage, power, current uh, details. 
that means if voltage is empty then you have to uh, make this uh, v volt p volt i volt and uh, m equal to 1 so many things equal to 0 and uh, duty cycle volt is equal to uh, initial duty cycle okay and then we have to calculate the power by using formula v into i and then you have to calculate change in voltage by using formula v minus v volt so current instant voltage minus previous instant voltage and then you have to calculate the change in power p minus p volt and change in current i minus i volt so next it comes to loop okay as for the incremental conductance method so first we have to check the change in voltage condition whether change in voltage is equal to zero or not so if it is equal to zero next you have to check the change in current okay whether change in current is equal to zero or not if it is equal to zero then we have to um, keep that uh, duty cycle as it is in previous uh, iteration or previous instant okay next you have to check the change in current so for example the change in current is not equal to zero so next it comes to here whether the change in current is greater than or equal to zero if current is changing uh, change in current is greater than zero then we need to uh, decrease the duty cycle by the amount of uh, del t if the change in current is not uh, that means change in current uh, less than zero then we need to increase the duty cycle by the amount of uh, del t so this portion will be applicable during that uh, nearer to that maximum power point condition so next you have to uh, that means this code going to be executed uh, another condition that mean uh, slope condition so dv divided by dv whether is greater than or equal to zero or not that mean uh, dv by dv is equal to minus i by v if uh, both are equal that mean uh, the solar PV reach that maximum power point, then we have to maintain a uh, duty cycle uh, as it is in the previous instant. So next you have to <coughs> check the another condition. If this this condition not, not true, okay. Next you have to check the condition. That means the dA by dV is greater than greater than minus I by V. Okay, that means uh, the dB by dV is greater than zero or not. If condition this condition is true. So, dA by dV is uh, greater than minus I by V, then we need to decrease the duty cycle by the amount of del D. Otherwise, if the condition is not true, we need to uh, increase the duty cycle by the amount of del T. Okay. So, this is uh, implementation of the uh, incremental conductance method. So, after that, uh, deciding the duty cycle, we have to check the duty cycle value between two limit maximum minimum limit if the duty cycle is within this limit then so we need to use that uh, previous instant that means if the duty cycle is greater than maximum or duty cycle is less than minimum value then we just need to make it uh, the duty cycle is which is equal to the previous instant duty cycle so otherwise we have to use the new duty cycle for that uh, process okay next you have to uh, uh, exchange the data from the current instant to previous previous instant that means uh, uh, the d volt is changed to d v volt change to v v volt change to v and i volt change to i so this process will be repeated up to that mean uh, up to that maximum power point attained at the solar pv system so next move on to that uh, simulation so first i'm going to take uh, I'm going to fix irradiation is uh, variable. That means uh, so for every point two second, I'm going to change the irradiation. So from a thousand watts per meter square to eight hundred, and then eight hundred to six hundred, six hundred to four hundred, and then uh, I, I need to check that uh, performance of that uh, uh, incremental conductance and BBD algorithm for the given system. Okay, so first I'm going to simulate this assembling model so you can check this one so this this window is to for measuring the power of solar pv and uh, converter boost converter and this window used to for measuring the 
voltage of that PV panel and converter. And this scope used to for measuring the current of PV panel and boost converter. Initially, that uh, irradiation level is 1000 watts per meter square. At condition 1000 watts per meter square with the 25 degrees Celsius, the maximum power for that uh, considered PV panel is around 250 watts. So you can see that <coughs> the tracking is equal to 250 watts by the ingredient metal conductance method. After 0.2 seconds, the irradiation change from 1000 watts per meter square to 800. So during 800 watts per meter square, the PV panel considered PV panel, uh, the maximum power point is uh, around 200. So here also you can see that the tracking of that uh, maximum power from that uh, consider in BPT algorithm, that means green metal conductance in BPT algorithm. After 0.4 second, the irradiation going to be changed from 800 to 600. When change from 800 to 600 to that for that condition for 600 watts per meter square the maximum power for the for power from the PV panel 30 degrees around 150 watts so you can see that so incremental conductance is tracked at the maximum power around that the maximum point at the 600 watts per meter square at 0.6 the irradiation change from 600 watts per meter square to 400 watts per meter square at 400 watts per meter square the maximum power from the solar PV panel in theoretically is around 100 watts so we can check, check the tracking of that uh, green metal conductance after 0.6 seconds so now you can see that the tracking of that uh, maximum power also very effective in the incremental conductance this track around nearly 95 watts to 100 watts okay for that 400 watts per meter square irradiation condition so this is uh, a tracking of that uh, uh, power from the solar PV by means of incremental conductance with respect to change in irradi irradiation condition so next I am going to make uh, that input parameter that mean irradiation temperature constant and then I am going to change the load. So when I am going to change the load what happened to that uh, performance of that incremental conductance we have to check. So for that I am going to disconnect this and then I am going to connect that. Uh, So here I'm going to use the different load, so 5 ohms and then 30 ohms and then 60 ohms load. So initially that 5 ohms is connected with the system for the 0.3 second. After 0.3 second the 30 ohms is going to be connected with the system. After, uh, after 0.6 seconds the 60 ohms uh, resistor is connected with the system. Here I am going to make that irradiation and the temperature is constant. So irradiation at 1000 watts per meter square and temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. So what will be happen after uh, that been changing load? Okay. So I am going to simulate this something model. Let's check the tracking of that. Uh, maximum power by means of incremental conductance now you can see that so now load is connected with that system is 5 ohms so irradiation 1000 watts per meter square and a temperature 25 degrees celsius so you can see that the tracking is uh, very effectively done by means of uh, incremental conductance method so it's around 250 watts after 0.3 second the load change from 5 ohms to 30 ohms so we will check uh, what will be happen after changing load point 
and the second load load going to be changed from 5 ohms to 30 ohms so you can see that because of changing load you can see the variation in the power voltage and current but even the change in load the incremental conductance extract the maximum power from that is solar pv panel let's see what to check the next condition at 0.6 seconds the load change from 30 ohms to 60 ohms so we will check the performance of that incremental conductance Now that uh, load when we change from 30 ohm to 60 ohms, so you can see that because of change in load, so there will be a, a trans in the power, voltage and current. Okay. But even though uh, load will change from 30 ohm to 60 ohms, the, in, uh, the incremental conductance method extract the maximum power from the solar PV array. So from that uh, two condition, we can finally conclude that that the incremental conductance effectively extract the maximum power from the solar PV array. So, thank you for watching this video. So, if you want this uh, Sumlin model, then go to the following website www.itps.net. <laughs> So this is official website for our YouTube channel, LMS Solution. So we are the solution provider for the MATLAB something in the following area. That means renewable energy, ball running power system, digital image processing, artificial intelligence applications, coding for the C2 person and the Arduino in MATLAB. So so you can download this model in the section download matlab file section so you can download the